Hello and welcome back and that is right it's time for another series of noise tests on a new NAS in this case the TS453E one of the latest generation four bay NASs from QNAP there now for those that have followed this channel for a while you know that slowly but surely I'm trying to do as many noise level tests of popular mainstream SMB NAS systems as more and more of us are finding that we can utilize a private cloud system in our home or office environments but we're very conscious of the amount of noise they make and in today's video we're going to be running three different test scenarios across three different drive types ultimately nine tests in full and utilizing the TS453E NAS here we're going to be testing it with traditional SATA SSDs um, WD Red Plus hard drives and Ultrastar Enterprise Grade hard drives there why do we test three different drive types why are we doing three different scenarios those are all very good questions and for those of you that have watched my previous noise test videos you know exactly why and if you've only come for the tests you can fast forward about three or four minutes but the rest of you please stick around for a few disclaimers as I explain why we run these tests the way we do and things to bear in mind when you read the results the first things first the tests that we are running are threefold in an boot test that is the noise this system makes when it boots up we're running an idle test where the system has completely booted and we're not running any you know uh, primary system services with the drive itself although it is connected to the internet uh, or the network I, I should say we're not going to be utilizing so the drive to just running there in idle and standby and finally we do an active performance test where we're basically poking the system to make it do as much activity as we can get it to do now when we use the three different drive media types the reason we're doing that is because a lot of people don't seem to um you know know that a lot of the time you're not actually hearing the noise of the system in many cases the hard drives are noisier than the system and actually drown out any noise that the fan might produce now in the case of ssds this is not a factor we include the ssds to show you that if you use those they are silent they have no moving parts and during those operations the only thing you're going to hear is this system and its fan on the rear and then you'll get a nice baseline throughout all of those tests but when it comes to mechanical optical hard drives they are built differently much like hard drives from as much as 20 years ago although the architecture and the R&D that's gone into mechanical hard drives has excelled dramatically the actual standalone building blocks the kind of lego bricks of these things have not changed a vast amount even modern hard drives are designed like so they are made up of multiple platters inside these cylindrical discs and the bigger the hard drive you generally find the more platters at the moment we are up to nine platter hard drives with 20 and 22 tb drives arriving between uh, 9 and 11 tbs per platter now those platters that are all stacked up are being read by this tiny thing down here known as an arm or actuator depending on the component part you're discussing now again the bigger the hard drive and the more industrious the hard drive the more both of these two parts move like crazy and although there are other parts here to consider those are the bits that in terms of noise you should care about because more industrious hard drives uh, they make more noise in clicks, hums, whirs, spin, vibration, and just general ambient noise, both active and passive. So the minute you look at drives larger than about 8 or 10 TB, you're going to hear them. And the minute you go for drives that are rated for larger workload, larger durability, and larger sustained performance, which means they can reach a performance level and hold it for extended periods of time, those are the drives that make a lot of racket. And that's why we've included two drives at different ends of the spectrum there now during our tests you will see a decibel meter on screen the decibel meter is around about two feet from the NAS system and a microphone is around about a foot and a half a foot and three quarters you'll see it visually on screen there now the decibel meter will show you spikes and highs of each of the individual noises there to give you a nice graph line to read it's around about half a second to three quarters of a second delay between the noise and the chart there so stay tuned for that but the actual noise you hear i have increased 50 percent so you can actually hear it so sometimes you might hear a noise that seems 
higher than the ambient level will actually indicate. That is why. But the other thing worth bearing in mind is ambient noise. Chances are you're going to be utilising this system in your home or office or wherever where there just is ambient noise. Unless you work in a soundproof booth, most rooms are on about 15 to 17 dBA typically. Everything on top of that is surrounding noise. Phone calls, people, breathing, seagulls. So make sure you bear that in mind during these results and also when you have one of these set up in your home or business environment there. During the active testing, we'll be using QNAP's own internal storage manager benchmarking tools to test both IOPS performance and standard transfer rates. These will max up the performance of the drives and give you some indication of what heavy use will be on this. And that's really it. The last thing I'll add is that during the course of this testing, I'm not going to be talking over them. The only time you're really going to hear me is here. The rest of the tests that run for about 90 to 120 seconds each are going to just be the tests. No voiceover, no guidance. You can just read the DB meter on screen and the prompts. At the end, there's a bit thanking you for watching, subscribe, like, etc. And again, please listen to it. But again, that's all that's left after this. It's just me finishing the rabbit in so you can watch the noise test. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video useful. I've done other noise tests. Do check those out. And if you have any questions, comments, or inquiries, use the, inquiry uh, use the comment section below or the free advice section over on NAS Compares or Ask NAS Compares the forum where we've got a community there that can hopefully answer your questions for you. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and let's begin our tests.
Thank you. 